Today, we are meeting EPIC member Julite. Laser interferometers as vibration sensors? Tell me about this. Yes, basically what we do is we use lasers to measure tiny vibration of objects that are placed at a distance from a few tens of millimeters to tens of meters. I mean, so from what I understand, from meters to microns, that you're able exactly. to measure vibrations in, in that wide of a realm? Exactly. Very interesting. But how do you account for noise, ambient noise? Like, can you take a measurement? Uh, can we place this device on a vibrating surface, point it at what we want to measure, and get a clean measurement? Yeah, exactly, because this system measures the relative vibration between the laser head and the target. So if both of them are vibrating, even quite uh, largely, you can get rid of that, basically. Interesting. So is this what would be used, let's say, by an appliance manufacturer to make sure that my washing machine, uh, <laughs> to detect the vibrations, yes, right? Yes, for example. It can be used as uh, end-of-line testing, in, for example, for testing washing machines, uh, dishwashers, and refrigerator compressors for all things that have to be checked for vibration before, before being put on the market. Okay, and there's no contact needed. I don't need to put a sensor on what I'm no, trying to measure. No, at all. You just shine a laser and that's it. Okay, so from what I understand, like you, could, you have some devices that go over, what, 10 meters? You can be very yeah, pretty far away? even 20, 30 meters away. 20 or 30 meters? But how is this device, from what I also understand, you can help characterize MEMS? So we're going from meters to microns? How yeah, does exactly. that work? If you put this into a sort of very simplified microscope, you can focus the light over a very uh, small area and you can measure vibrations of small objects like MEMS devices. And so. Okay, so now there's an emitter and a sensor, but somehow you don't have a separate sensor? No, really? exactly, exactly. What we do is we have where all our instruments are based on a technology that is called self-mixing interferometry. Self-mixing interferometry. Exactly. Where you basically do some interference systems without having a real physical traditional interferometer. So we get rid of all those optical components that are typically part of the Mycheson or Maxander interferometer. So the sensor is made by the laser and the tiny optics and that's it. The laser acts as a light source and as a detector. So is there anywhere else in the world and is there anyone else who makes a system like this? Well, uh, I would say there are, I mean, not really like this. I would say we are the only one that uh, sell laser vibrometers based on this working principle. That is simply amazing. So only found in Europe. And one last thing, because if you don't mind that I grab this. Yeah, so grab that it. means this, you're able to put the instrument in something this size? Exactly, but even smaller if you like, since the <gasps> actual sensor is made by the laser and a semiconductor laser can be as small as a few hundred microns. You can really have a one sensor that is in a device that is a few hundred microns. You mean size. so one Vixel element could potentially exactly. be my sensor exactly. and emitter? Exactly. We're working on that as well. My, I find that amazing. Epic members drive the photonics revolution.